how come there is so much violence? How come there is so much abuse of people, criminality, lying, vulgarity? If you really love, you will not be all of this. The absence of love is the cause of all of this. In the same way that the overflowing of love will make us see Jesus everywhere. And Jesus is indeed everywhere. Jesus is beside you, in front of you, behind you, inside your soul. But sometimes, it is so difficult to see Him. It is not because Jesus is hiding. It is not because Jesus is playing hard to find. It is because our love is like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. Love is the eye. And the reason for the resurrection is love is stronger than death. join the Lord as we meditated on His Passion starting Thursday unto Friday. We saw the films, we read studies, we saw how deeply wounded He was and how much pain He endured. He knew He would rise on the third day, but it would have been more spectacular if after suffering suffering so much, he rose from the dead like the ending of the Olympic Games. That would have been understandable because that would prove all his enemies, all the soldiers, all the officials wrong. But that did not happen. The Lord preached without twisting arms, without pressuring, without coercing, without frightening people, without threatening people. That is how he preached. He made miracles without coercing, without threat, without sowing fear. He died without coercing, without threatening and he rose from the dead in the same way, without threatening, without revenge, even actually very quietly, nobody saw how he rose from the dead. My dear brothers and sisters, we must not forget that the resurrection is not just a poetic story. The resurrection is real. There was an actual body that rose from the dead. The resurrection is real. The resurrection is physical such that Thomas could touch the wounds. The resurrection is material. It is physical. It is real such that he ate. The resurrection is real and physical such that he breathed on the apostles and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. What I'm saying, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. This is a fantastic story. And he could have done it in a fantastic way. But why did he do it quietly without any witnesses? I don't know. But Maybe we can understand a little bit better if we return to Christmas midnight. Let us remember how the Lord was born. He could have been born in a palace. He could have been born with choirs and choirs of angels making noise all over the world. 
because he is God. But that did not happen. But what made the story of the birth of the Lord and what made the story of the resurrection of the Lord even more confusing is this. There were some who believed and there were many who did not. There were some who believed that he was truly risen from the dead, touched his wounds, ate with him, received his breath, saw him through locked doors, and yet there were some who did not believe. It is the same story with Christmas. The shepherds believed, but Nero did not. The wise men believed, but there were so many more who did not believe. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, the question needs to be asked now as we celebrate Easter. Where lies the difference? How come the others refuse and the others accept? How come the others persecute him and the others follow him? How come the others are angry and the others are worshiping him? How come the others see and recognize? And how come the others do not see, do not recognize, even if they see? My dear brothers and sisters, the answer is this. Love is the eye. Love is the eye. And it is only with love that we can see the resurrection. Now you can understand the people who lack love, people who have no love, people who do not care, people who are indifferent, will not be able to understand and believe the resurrection even if they see the emptiness of the tomb. Remember that. Love is the eye. And the one who loves sees everything. Let us return to the gospel. Mary Magdalene was there bringing spices in order to perfume the cadaver. She saw the empty tomb. But she did not understand that she was afraid. She thought the body was stolen. Peter and John went running to the tomb. Peter went inside and then John followed the beloved disciple. The beloved disciple. And when the beloved disciple saw the empty tomb, the gospel said, He saw and believe. With love, you will be able to see. Because only with love can we really see. Now you understand why Christmas is rejected by some and celebrated by some. Now you understand why Easter is celebrated by some and yet mocked by the others. Until now, there are people who continue the story that the body was only stolen, that the body went somewhere, or Jesus did not die. So many anecdotes, so many stories. But the bottom line, my dear brothers and sisters, why people believe and why people don't believe is love is the eye, and only with love can we see. And now, we look into our world. How come there is so much violence? How come there is so much abuse of people, criminality, lying, vulgarity? If you really love, you will not be all of these. The absence of love is the cause of all of this. In the same way that the overflowing of love will make us see Jesus everywhere. And Jesus is indeed everywhere. Jesus is beside you, in front of you, 
behind you, inside your soul. But sometimes, it is so difficult to see Him. It is not because Jesus is hiding. It is not because Jesus is playing hard to find. It is because our love is like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. Love is the eye. And the reason for the resurrection is love is stronger than death. And people who love, like the beloved disciple, will be able to see and will be able to believe. We will celebrate, yes, and the Lord invites us to enter into His heart. His heart is a heart of love, and only with love can we enter His heart. We say only fire can start another fire. We also say only love can enter love.